All right, what's up, internet? Today, we're gonna be reviewing the ASUS VG258Q. And it has all the bells and whistles of a usual gaming monitor. It's 144 hertz, it's 24.5 inches widescreen, one millisecond response time, FreeSync, G-Sync. And to be honest, ASUS just lent us this monitor to display it in the shop. They were like, okay, we're gonna give you this monitor. You can use it in the shop. You know, maybe customers will ask about it. And so that's what we did with this monitor. We had it in the shop. This was for our, it was the monitor for our test bed. And you know, it worked out well in that function, but then COVID hit. And you know, the shop was closed for around two months, three months, and I was at home and I was gaming. And then I thought to myself, you know, there's a gaming monitor at the shop that's not being used. So I stole it. I stole this ASUS monitor from the shop and I brought it back home and I used it for the entire lockdown period. And I'm not a professional reviewer. I don't have a bajillion hours on a million different kinds of monitors. I don't follow the latest specs and things like that. But what I can promise you is that I run Hardware Sugar. We see a lot of different tech going in and out of the shop. And I use this monitor extensively. Basically the entire lockdown, which was two to three months, at least eight weeks, this was my primary monitor. I used it for work, I used it for gaming. So this isn't a wham bam, thank you ma'am review that you know I spent two hours with the monitor and then rushed off to the internet to type up my thoughts and things like that. I spent time with this thing. So we'll start with the aesthetics and the structure. It has this kind of angular aesthetic going for it, notably in the base. And I'm not really a fan of that look. It, it not, you know, it, it's fine. I, I don't like it, but you know, it's not ugly enough that I would recommend not getting the monitor, but you know, that's kind of angle thing that's not, I, I, that's not for me. But the structure itself is very solid. Um, everything is quality. It comes with its own power brick and, and you can swivel the monitor, you can tilt it, you can raise it, and you can also put it in portrait mode. So all of those things are very solid. You don't feel like once you have a position that you like the monitor in, suddenly the support will give way and it'll sort of sag and go into a different position. Everything is very premium and everything feels solid for this monitor. For display quality, viewing angles are a little bit off. You know, if you're sort of standing above it and you're kind of looking down on the monitor, the text is a bit blurred. This is not a deal breaker for me. To be honest, I don't understand what the big deal about viewing angles is. I mean, you know, basically, you have, you're in front of a screen, so the manufacturer expects you to be like, you know, dead set, dead center in front of the screen. And, you know, I don't get the whole like, oh, the viewing angle is bad and things like that. This is not a deal breaker for me. I think especially for computer monitors, it's safe to assume that the user will have it right in front of him or her. So the poor viewing angle is not really a big thing for me, but I noted it for the review. Screen quality is good, the text is crisp, video is nice to watch. Although I did note that compared to a Dell 27 inch, the Dell is not a gaming monitor at all, but video was a little grainy on this ASUS. And then when I shifted the video to the Dell, because I had them in dual screen format, on the Dell, the video was not grainy at all. So just a little something to note for, you know, if you're gonna be watching videos extensively on this monitor. Colors pop very nicely. They're very bright and they're very vivid. Some people might call them oversaturated, but I like them. I like them this kind of very bright, kind of a little bit in your face 
color or color quality to them. And you already notice this in games with a wide color palette or you know colorful graphics such as Overwatch and the, you know the colors really pop when you play those kind of games. And so again very good quality for this Asus monitor. But let's cut to the chase. Is it a good gaming monitor? And to answer that, I have to share what I was using before. My old monitor is three years old. It's a ViewSonic XG2401, 23.5 inches, 144 hertz, free sync. So in terms of specs, the ASUS and the ViewSonic are basically neck and neck. They're basically tied for specs. So if the ViewSonic was any good, then I shouldn't notice any difference on the ASUS. But actually, there was a big difference. This monitor really showed me what a true gaming monitor can do. On my ViewSonic, for whatever reason, the FreeSync would not work. I trade, I changed HDMI cables, I tried to fiddle around with the settings. It would not work at all for some reason. And to be honest, I'm like, well, I don't really care. You know, I, I, I have a tendency to think all of these terms that manufacturers throw around, a lot of it is just marketing hype. 144 hertz, free sync, one millisecond response time. And I kind of think like, well, you know, really? Do they, do they make any difference? But when I got this ASOS, the free sync worked right out of the bat. I didn't have to do anything. I checked the Radeon settings and free sync was already enabled. And on the ViewSonic, I experienced screen tearing. And I was a bit surprised and I just thought that, you know, my, my rig is old. I'm using Crossfire RX 480s and, you know, probably the graphics are lagging. But with this monitor on the exact same setup, no video tearing at all, no screen tearing while playing games or, or any other application for that matter. And this really struck me like, wow, the game feels so much smoother on the Asus monitor compared to the ViewSonic. And all of the game footage that I'm showing in this video, I tried to capture the actual, you know, I, I filmed the actual monitor. I didn't screen, I didn't screen capture the game. So just to try to show that there was no screen tearing in the graphics when I played. Um, I, I don't know if professional reviewers will do this or, you know, they actually film the monitor, footage from the monitor instead of screen capture. But I, I did it to try to give you guys a sense of what the experience was like on the ASUS. And really, what an experience. No screen tearing, colors were vivid. And I really began to appreciate that, hey, maybe not all of this is marketing hype. Maybe all of this brouhaha about 144 hertz and one millisecond response time and free sync. Maybe there is something to it. And for me, bottom line, as a consumer, never mind like, you know, as someone who runs a computer shop. As a consumer, is there a real world benefit to buying a monitor like this with all of those specs? And the ViewSonic didn't convince me, but the ASOS VG258Q certainly has. I'm like really amazed at the quality and the no screen tearing of the game experience. So hindi pala mabagal computer ko or hindi ganun kabagal. Kasalanan pala ng monitor, hindi nung graphics cards ko. So I apologize to my RX 480s for thinking that they were the problem. Would I choose this ASUS over the ViewSonic when the two monitors basically have the same specs? Yes, I would choose the, this ASUS monitor in a heartbeat. We don't actually sell the ASUS VG258Q in the shop, but a quick online search shows that it's going for around 13,000 pesos. And I think that's a reasonable price for the quality of this monitor, for the solid build quality, for the excellent graphics that it displays. I think that is a good buy. And I must emphasize again, this is not a sponsored video. They were basically just, you know, they just gave it to us and they said, use it in the shop however you want. They didn't say anything actually about, you know, you can use it like for your personal use. Um, so don't tell ASUS that I stole it from the shop and used it for my own gaming. But I'm very glad I did, that I managed to go to the shop, pick it up, and rush back home. And so I had two months of during lockdown where I used this monitor. And you know, I, I am, it has made me a believer in all of these buzzwords. So 144 hertz, free sync, and one millisecond response time. So I'm a bit sad now that business has opened up and that I need to return this monitor to the shop. And maybe I won't. <laughs> Let's see. 
I am curious now to try other monitors with different specs and maybe I will do more. And again, not a professional reviewer, but hopefully they help some of you guys out there. Thanks for watching. So I hope that these basic tips help you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. For your PC needs, consider buying from us, Fiber Sugar, at Lazada, or on our website. You can find links in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you next video.